Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. Going to do a comparison video today with two excellent 9mm handguns. Here we have a Glock 19 and an MR9 Eagle made by Magnum Research. Both of these are great 9mm handguns, both excellent companies. But before we start this, let's go through a couple things that we need to know. This here is a Gen 3 Glock 19. Now we know the Gen 4s made some improvements, so we're going to talk about those as we go. This MR9 is a four and a half inch barrel. It also comes in a four inch barrel, which will put the barrel length the same as the Glock 19. So with all those things considered, let's get started. We look at the cost of a Gen 3 Glock 19. It's right around 499 on the low end, all the way to 520, maybe a little bit higher, depends on where you're at. The Gen 4s go for about $25 more and it does include another magazine. So we're right in that range. Here we have the MR9 on average, right around 450. So if you look at what they give you, both two magazines, very similar amount of these out of the box. We say Advantage, Magnum Research, because it goes, at a minimum, $50 cheaper. We look at the machining and the fit, finish, and, and feel of the MR9. We can see that it is very nice, very clean, nice machining on the slide. The slide does contour in. Okay, also cuts down on a little bit of the weight. And the frame is made by Walther. And you hear people all the time, oh, Walther has the best feel to it. Well, they do. And, and that's what you're getting right here. So it's just very nice, very good feel to it. Does have a double stack magazine, just don't feel it as much as you do with the Glocks. Glocks are blocky. Now the Gen 4s do offer back straps, so you do have some options there, as well as the MR9. It does offer three back straps, so both offer that. But uh, they are blocky, no doubt about it. The machining's a little bit raw, so you know, it's just, it's not as pretty. And as far as that goes, we're giving advantage MR9. Glock 19, 10 yards. There is a difference with the magazine release, and the Glock has the more traditional on top of the grip right there. They did make an improvement with the Gen 4 by extending that out a little bit, but it just drops the magazine right there. It doesn't get in the way or anything like that. We are seeing more and more magazine releases on the trigger guard, and the advantage of that is it is ambidextrous, and, and that is nice. And once you get used to it, it's pretty easy to do, but I'm going to call that a draw because that's a personal preference thing. Magazine are both very quality made magazines. I don't see an advantage one way or another with either of these. I'm calling both those featured draws. MR9. The trigger on the Glock is, is very comfortable at five and a half pounds. And the very cool thing is the follow-up shots are very nice as well because the reset is so short. And it does have the safety notch in there. A lot of people like that. Consider it a safety, and in many ways it is. The MR9 has something that is very interesting. It does have a double action pull or a single action pull, which is four pounds. And that is a nice option. Just like that, you charge the gun, and you can shoot single action, four pounds. Follow-up shots are very good as well. I like that option. You don't see that too often. I do have some one-hand rapid shooting. We had a little bit of a problem with the Glock, and almost like a bump fire kind of thing with the MR9. I'll let you take a look at it and make your own thoughts. A problem with this aluminum ammo. Here we have the Glock 19 with a full magazine of 15 rounds, weighing in at 30 and 1/8 ounce. 
and the MR9 in the same condition without a round of the chamber, 30 and 3 quarters ounces. There's your three dot sight picture from the MR9. It's all adjustable. Magnum Research gives you six different heights of front sights that you can put on whatever your personal preference is. I kept this one right out of the box. I like the way that shot as is. The one thing Glock offers are many aftermarket choices. And I believe this is a Bomar sight with a fiber optic front sight. But right out of the box, it looks like this. And there's no question that Glock has many aftermarket choices. And, and that's very cool, but that also adds up to a lot of extra money on top of the cost of the gun. As far as sights are concerned, I like what Magnum Research did with the front post and all adjustable sights, Advantage MR9. As far as shooting impressions are concerned, I love them both. Both extremely accurate, great shooting guns. Longevity and reliability, well, you have to give the Glock. It's a proven platform, been around a long time. The MR9 is a relatively new gun. If I had to choose one, if I had to choose one, I would want to, but if I had to, I'm taking the MR9 just offers so much more for less money. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.